All right, here we go. We got some heavyweight action here, Walter. Well, 205 is technically heavyweight, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, the other cool thing is that Andrew Kimball here as well raised... Um, I don't have the final numbers. The last numbers I saw, I, I think he believes also in the 5,000 range as well. That's pretty amazing. I know. This guy's going all doing a great thing here for... Uh, <clears throat> Well, right now we have well, these heavyweights are going at it right off the bat. He's trying to pull that single leg in for the pass, and he's likely to get it once he settles in here. <laughs> yeah, it looks like uh, Stever's going for uh, crucifix. <laughs> crucifix, but he's not going to get it from there. No, he's, no way. Right now, Andrew is just going to take his time. Yeah, and Steve uh, is posting up. Steve needs to. Uh, just put his hands. I get that. See how he has his hands underneath his legs. He wants to come to actually the top of his legs and start pushing back. And just kind of slide into his guard. He's getting there now. Yeah, he's almost past. See now he has his hand on top. That's a little bit more effective for scooting back there. There he goes, he's stretching that leg out. Good. But Steve is not going easy here. No doubt about it. Ooh. <laughs> oh boy. About a quart low there. <laughs> <laughs> Only the diehard jiu-jitsu players are going to know what that means. But, uh... Look at this. He's setting up an omoplata. Not bad for a big guy. If you... And off the mat. If you the are in the 200-plus category, you better have... The omoplata needs to be a staple in your wheelhouse because you do not want to be underneath somebody when you mess up an arm bar. You want to be up to the side. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> here we go. Right back to the stand-up. and You know, here we are. We've got the geese on. We're going to do a little stand-up action here. He's going to pull guard. The stand-up play is vastly different with the gi on than it is with the, the no-gi. The no-gi wrestling tends to take precedent where, you know, when you're wearing the gi, a lot of judo comes into play. Oh, definitely. And then, of course, after I say all that, everyone just seems to pull guard. <laughs> oh, but you got to watch out here what's, what uh, Andrew's here doing with his legs. Yeah, like, yep, back. he gets a hold of that. You can sweep to the side into the step-back position yeah, and Steve right into a it. lockdown over there. And let's see if he can sneak out the back door into the single. And there he goes. That's kind of the Eddie Bravo school there. Locked good. down into the single. Really good stuff. Yeah, Steve, Steve, like when he got a little angsty, tried to jump over, just made it worse. When he went for that back step, yeah, you know, it's, um, it is a legitimate answer to that problem, but it's a, it's a higher risk one. Looks yeah. like if you can sneak into mount here, if you can just creepy crawl right up, that's it. Oh. Almost got the back. It's a weird, funky high. Back All right, look, he's trying to isolate the arm there. Mm, he's he's going to have to roll out. and create some angle here. He's going for it, though. Well, he's one. He wants it. But yeah, I, 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 think, I, think I think Steve's you know, going to fetch it out yet. And he's going to use it to <laughs> maybe take the back himself. Uh, you can see right here. The yeah, most common the thing that people yeah. want to do is they want to get, see that hook, how it came over? That's the most common thing that people want to do. It's not always the most effective. In this case, it's going to work. He's going to roll to the back. Oh, yeah. He's already got the seatbelt. Yeah, but that leg is, as you said earlier, in, in the earlier match, when you're sitting on that leg, it's oh, easy, yeah. it, you can sneak right out of there. It can be very frustrating. Yeah. What he's got to do, he's got to pull him to his right side so he can get that left hook in. Uh, free at your hips, start turning. Yep, or he's got to be ready to come up just like this into the mount without getting that leg caught in a, in a quarter guard. And it looks like he should be able to do it, although he's fishing for that leg there. And there it is. That little, see that little the foot caught in there? That little play makes all the difference in the world. Now Steve's kind of got to pop that leg out. If you can bridge your hips up and actually cut in, you can actually baseball slide yep. through that. Yeah, I wouldn't go for his arm right now. That, that other leg not, really not, not here with it stuck in there. No way. But sometimes you see that arm and it's like looking at a big juicy steak and you just want to go get it. And mm. This is this is why you need both your legs. <laughs> yeah, and look at that right into... Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> is he going to... No, it's a heck of an attempt, but... You guys are going for heavyweights. Yep. I got it. So yeah, so it was definitely good just confirmed to me by Mr. Thomas. Andrew did clear out more than five thousand dollars in donations, and he almost cleared out a fine arm bar. So <laughs> <laughs> he almost got two. He almost got a twofer. Well, maybe we'll see a little, a little heavyweight top pressure here. Well, Steve's got two minutes to work. Right now, you want to top pressure. Look, he wants to take his 
left shoulder and just kind of mash it into the side of his face, for lack oh, of better terms. Dude, tripod pass. If you're a big dude, you're not the tripod pass, you're missing out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like he's sitting in mount now, so somehow he snuck those legs around with, without me seeing it. Let's use a little pressure now. You control the situation. Top mount is an extremely dominant position. You're holding all of the cards. You see he's got a hold of his lapel there. That yeah. really gives an element of control. It's, it's frustrating if you're the bottom oh, player. Oh, okay. But you see, when you go really top-heavy, it leaves you light at the legs, and that's uh, how he snuck into that. Looks like Steve was going for like a very interesting baseball choke here. Yep, yep. But he might have a little something there. I, I nah, can't see from too, this angle. It's too, um, it's too apart. It's too far apart. Again, right back. Okay, now he's going to go for a knee slide pass, but he gets caught in a single. He can pop his hips back. That's the importance of pinning down that leg. You know, yeah. you're not out until you're out. Oh, oh, you better have, you better have the reverse triangle. But I, From the I, I inverted position, let's see here. We got to whisper because I don't want to give it away. <laughs> <laughs> you do not want them to hear you. No. Uh, 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 oh, 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 grab the oh, leg. Grab your leg. <laughs> <laughs> and there he locks it in again. You can't finish this from here. You oh, this want to walk now. This now now you up. can work the finish. Sit up. Sit up. Oh, there he got, got it. Tap. What a lord. What a lord. Oh, that was great. I love it. Yeah, that's right. Big guys with the technical cool stuff. Yeah, eat that. Well, you gotta say that. Uh, <laughs> look, in the heavyweight match, we saw kind of a flying armbar there, and then we saw an inverted triangle. Um, good stuff. That was great. That was really, really good. I love it. I love it. Walter, at the at the pro shop, do they have uh, full body spats for guys our size? Um, <laughs> the, they do. <laughs> So, 